Imagine a clean, green place with houses and jobs on the doorstep. A self-sufficient, low-carbon town with renewable energy, green transport and its own heating system. A town run by its residents with its revenue reinvested locally. Stop imagining. Start living. Owenstown. A new way of life for the 21st century. Owenstown is a groundbreaking venture of the Hometown Foundation, a registered charity which has been formed to promote self-sustaining communities on well-established cooperative principles. This means individual communities and the people who live there can have control of the things which are essential for their success and help recreate the traditional feeling of community spirit which has disappeared from many parts of modern Scotland. The charity believes that well-run, integrated towns and villages providing local employment are the way forward in tackling many of our economic, social and environmental problems. To kick-start that idea, the Foundation has bought 2,000 acres of land in South Lanarkshire. Its aim? To build a new town to lead to the regeneration of this deprived rural area. People's lives will be transformed by generating a tremendous community spirit. The town will be run on cooperative, community-led principles. And we believe that that is going to make a big difference to people's lives. They actually have a stake in their, their physical environment. Many people will be working where they live. And that will make a big difference to their lives. The lives of their children will be different because they'll be growing up in communities, they'll be educated in the place where they live and potentially where they then go and work. The new community will be called Owenstown after Robert Owen, the man who in the early 19th century established the revolutionary new town New Lanark, only a few miles away. It was one of the first communities to be based on cooperative principles. Owen's ideas were at least a hundred years ahead of their time, with the people living and working there, enjoying decent homes, schools and evening classes, free health care and affordable food. The Foundation want to bring the best of those principles to Owenstown and develop them for modern day living. It's a much bigger version of New Lanark, but the founding principles of where the individuals collaborate and work together for the benefit of the community over the longer term, they're one and the same. Owenstown will be a population of 20,000 people, 8,000 jobs, and all of the people living and working will have a real stake in their future. It's a very exciting venture, and it's taken some of the examples from the past, like New Lanark, and just taken it to the next scale. Ornstown will also look further afield, bringing together the best environmental and community living ideas from around Europe. At its heart will be much needed homes in a rural area, and importantly at a range of prices which people can afford. Secure employment is vital and the town will generate much needed locally based jobs during construction and in the longer term to underpin the town's economy. This, in turn, will bring spin-off benefits to businesses in the surrounding area. One project will be to set aside ground to be run as Owenstown Farm, supplying fresh, organic food, local jobs and giving youngsters experience of traditional working practices. The whole project is non-profit making. It'll be run by the residents themselves through a cooperative society and all surplus income will be ploughed back into the town and the community's services. It'll be a modern town, it'll have exciting new designs, but ab above all else, it'll be for the people, by, by the people. Not just living there, but through the purchase of a, a simple pound share, we'll be able to vote e each year, take decisions how they shape the future, take decisions on how they want the town to be. Owenstown will be based on sound environmental principles, It'll be self-sufficient, self-reliant and low carbon, creating renewable energy from waste and natural resources, with its own wind farm to generate electricity. It'll have its own green heating system to ensure every home is warm and cosy, at no extra cost to the householder. And every home will have its own garden or a share in an allotment to provide quality, fresh vegetables, which are crucial for a healthy diet.
The town will evolve and grow, and with it more jobs will be created as new businesses are attracted to invest in the showpiece town. Owenstown will allow people to achieve success and improve their lives through regeneration and managing their own affairs within their own community. These beliefs are built firmly on the ethos that good citizens are at the heart of a successful community and that any community will be more successful if its surroundings are an attractive place to live, work and play. Owenstown is a fantastic new way forward for modern Scotland. It changes the way we think about what we want to do living in Scotland. It links back a couple of hundred years to here in New Lanark to Robert Owen. His social reform ideas changed the lives of ordinary people who lived in this village a couple of hundred years ago. In his lifetime, Owen was never able to realise his dream. He never built his model village that he wanted. It would be a fantastic thing if we could do it in Scotland in the 21st century. The Hometown Foundation has started with Owenstown, but other locations are also being looked at. The vision is to incorporate its principles in a number of towns and cities, including run-down housing estates, small towns and some city suburbs, as well as more rural locations over the next few years. For Owenstown, a comprehensive consultation will be carried out to let local people and possible supporters and investors help shape the town well before a planning application is submitted. The Foundation have very clear and exciting ideas, but they want everyone in South Lanarkshire and further afield to have their say. A new community for 20,000 people, good homes and rewarding jobs. Owenstown, the way it should be.